What is going on YouTube fam? Hydrax here. Today we'll be having a little discussion about what to expect or what we hope to see coming in the 1000 day celebration. Um, to start it off, let's just talk about the elephant in the room and that is this Spirit Bomb Goku from the Namek Saga. A little bit of background information on this guy. This guy was one of the first units to drop especially in the uh, early days of the game he was i think a week one unit and you can currently get him in the rare metal exchange shop a lot of speculation in the community is that um this goku will be getting a zenkai um purely based on the fact that dokkan when you log in for 1000 days you get a lr spirit bomb goku with this exact same pose uh, that's why a lot of people are speculating that this could be our quote-unquote LR Goku or um, our 1000 day uh, unit a lot of people suspect that we could see him get a Zenkai honestly speaking I don't I, I really hope that we don't see him get a Zenkai because the blue Saiyan um, the blue Saiyans that he would have to compete with um, or the blue units in general you'd have to compete with to make people switch teams are very very good you have the Zenkai LF uh, Goku, Namek Goku a lot of people seem to have him if you don't um, that's just how LFs work you probably have an LF with 7 stars and they're probably gonna get a Zenkai eventually you got this Bardock who, which most people should have at least 7 stars um, this god Goku you can get for free and seven stars. He's also very very good This trunks is brand new and is probably a Zia tier unit himself Another saying uh, on the movie saga is this Broly Very decent unit. I would say not a very very strong unit, but regardless he's still a blue Saiyan and then the other blue units are free to play uh, the free to play trio here the two EXs the Legends Road and then you get the brand new free to play Android 21 Zenkai. So I bar is set very high for him to be good. And as you can see from his kit, he is practically the worst unit in the game outside. Actually, if we look at the um, roster here, we're going to scroll down to the lowest unit. This unit has a Zenkai. This Hercule actually is useful since he draws a blue card, and outside of Hercule, this Goku is the worst unit in the game. Um, stats wise, that's he's just barely above even the EX units. And the I can confirm that these EX units are way better than him. Um, this Goku would need a complete rework, in my opinion, if he doesn't get a Zenkai. Um, in the past, we did get a buff system where we buffed units such as the Turles. Uh This unit got a buff and changed. This Vegeta got a buff, uh, buff um, prior to becoming a Zenkai unit. The Turles here also got a buff that as you can see is way up there in terms of stats. So I would like to see this Goku get a buff rather than a Zenkai because as you guys can as you guys know that there are plenty of blue Zenkais out there and they all want your resources. If this guy does decide to get a buff or they decide to give him a buff and rework him, I would like to see him uh, change. I'd like to see them change a few things like uh, maybe give him a strike and a blast or double strike and maybe change his ability to double defense at uh, maybe 30% to make him great um, because this unit is a strike based unit but yet he has double blast cards so um, the method they did that is try it in the past is to try and balance the unit it didn't really work or it doesn't really work now because um, these units don't really fit anywhere anymore especially this guy this guy this guy wasn't even usable outside of week two when uh, the blue broly dropped so I don't think many people were running this guy yeah anyways this would be the main discussion around 1000 days because purely Dokkan if they decide to focus on this version of Goku for 
1000 days i could see them potentially releasing an lf spirit bomb goku this exact same unit exact same um, animation with the spirit bomb the large spirit bomb but maybe an lf um, maybe a rework kit maybe reworked animations with the green card and such um, just to make it uh, uh, an enticing option to summon but um, if we look at the tag or the, the character that have released recently in the last two months in november we got ui goku in december and parts of january we got this broly and super saiyan gogeta and last month or the end of this month we got the super saiyan gohan um that's four lfs in the span of three months or so or less than that maybe two months and that's way too many especially uh especially if you're a free-to-play unit you couldn't possibly keep up with this entire a uh, rotation of lfs especially if you didn't or you didn't get lucky and maybe pull one or two of them and you had to go back for example let's say gogeta was your favorite character you had to go back and summon for him for example you wouldn't be able to keep up um if if they decide to release another lf unit um, that would be the next or oh, that would be one LF a month and that would be a very difficult thing for people to get behind because as much as people love LFs the, the people hate people hate summoning for them because the rates are so low and they're very uh, defeating when these LF units or LF units in general get outclassed next week or the week after by a Zenkai so um, I don't think people would be very happy to see a LF version of him and that would be the next LF oh that would be one LF a month and if they are transitioning to the point where we get one LF a month it would be difficult for players to keep up and hopefully they just give him a buff and rework him as opposed to Zenkai and if they decide to release an LF version of him, hopefully they release a free to play alongside a free to play unit. Maybe a um, armor Goten, uh, not Goten, an uh, armored Gohan, or maybe a uh, Namek uh, Gohan that has the Piccolo Gi. Uh, because I don't believe, other than um, the yellow version from the Saiyan Saga. I don't believe we have a version of this Gohan from Namek with the short hair. I would like to see that. Uh, maybe they release a Frieza unit. Maybe a second form Frieza or a final form Frieza. That would be very good um, because a Lineage of Evil, while though it is very, very good, it's lacking in terms of units. Uh, they haven't received much love especially um recently um this out of the last like maybe three months you've only got maybe one two units and this guy is predominantly a mix between f uh, movies and lineage of evil so it would be a nice change to see us get a lineage of evil uh, unit uh, so hopefully if they decide to do a uh, LF Spur Bomb Goku, they decide to give us a busted LOE uh, unit to make this team a little bit more viable again. Let's talk about if they don't decide to do a LF Spur Bomb Goku. What other units could or would I predict to potentially see? I would predict or hopefully predict a maybe a second villain LF. Because outside of this first form Frieza, there isn't a second villain LF unit. If we look at the uh, villain pool, these are all um, these are all considered to be um, quote unquote good characters. Uh, even though v Beerus and Piccolo in these aspects are um, 
in the series they uh, they t appear to be antagonists or uh, uh, such they are here as heroes i should say uh, he is the only villain lf in the game so far so i would like to maybe see a new uh, villain lf and that would tie in very well with this if we had to see a villain LF, I would like to see it be a Dragon Ball Saga LF that m that would be Demon King Piccolo. Because outside of this, um, outside of these two units and the EX Roshi, there aren't, there aren't any Dragon Ball, uh, or there isn't a really viable team to run with the Dragon Ball. Sure, these new units fill in the gap a little bit but this team does not have very many options uh, there's no usable purple outside of this Chi Chi and she doesn't even buff the tag uh, this EX Goku is pretty good Roshi is pretty good he's a Zenkai so he's pretty good even up to today this Yamcha is the copy and paste of hit in some aspects and he does a lot of good damage this launch is a great uh, disruptor but I feel she'd benefit more from being on a female warrior rather than a Dragon Ball Saga team. Um, even though she doesn't buff the tag, she would, I feel like she'd synergize a lot better being on that team. As you can see, this team is very, very low on units. Um, apart from these two Zenkais, which don't buff the tag, there aren't really that many options to run. Uh, your main squad will probably be these three or maybe these two and then them. So I would like to see a Demon King Piccolo, maybe a old Demon King Piccolo like this version here that transforms into the younger version over here and maybe give him an LF where he potentially kills the uh, enemy uh, with a blue card or an ultimate or something that would uh, that would revive this tag a little bit and it would appeal to a lot of the Dragon Ball Saga fans. Uh, a lot of people overseas don't really like Dragon Ball because they went straight into Z and it wasn't very popular but uh, a lot of people in Japan especially like the Dragon Ball Saga and Demon King Piccolo is still a very very widely loved villain uh, in that aspect um, given the theme that we've seen Dragon Ball Saga I think it's highly likely we could see a second uh, villain LF especially Demon King Piccolo um, other than that I don't really know what they could do for a unit. Um, this Burbam Goku was the was the talk of the town for, uh, for a long time, leading up to 1,000 days because of Dokkan. And if they don't use him or they don't do an LF version of him, what could they potentially do to keep the hype train going? Because 1,000 days is a very very big deal in a Gacha game's life. That's practically almost three years of continuous game use and the Dragon Ball IP is a very strong IP so it's very realistic that this game would have reached this especially um, after how popular it became when uh, after the Vega showdown and when the legendary finish Vegito uh, when this Vegito dropped a lot of people flocked in the game and a lot of people started playing if they decide to omit this and just leave it as is and maybe we just get a free-to-play unit I would love to see maybe a free-to-play um, maybe a Krillin and Goku maybe a Kid Goku and a Krillin uh, assist because the representation for Krillin has been very uh, low other than the EX Krillin that we received or we could have grinded to three stars there hasn't been a new Krillin in the game since then and Krillin being one of the oldest uh, running characters in Dragon Ball I believe I feel like he should be given a little bit more representation because this Krillin here and this one here these two are his best forms of himself um, the blue version of him is only good when he dies because he buffs Goku's but that really limits your team setup so I hope to see maybe a Krillin a free to break uh, Krillin if they decide to do a free-to-play option. My predictions for events, we'd likely see a raid, um, maybe a story event, maybe a, a new story event, hopefully, but that's just me being optimistic. 
Um, as for characters, I do not want to see. I don't want to see this guy get a Zenkai. I I believe he shouldn't get a Zenkai, even though he's very bad. I believe he'd benefit more from having his kit reworked rather than getting a Zenkai, because that would leave open a room open for him getting a LF in the future. If they decide not to Zenkai him and just leave this unit untouched and unloved, they could do a LF version of Spur Bomb. And if they do, I hope they release maybe a free-to-play unit alongside him just to um, maybe take the sting out if you don't pull him, for example. If he does get a Zenkai, he's going to be competing with a lot of blue units. He's going to be competing with a lot of blue units, especially Bardock, Goku, uh, maybe this Goku. And then for resources-wise, he's going to be competing with Android 21 and this Trunks for resources. So I don't think a Zenkai is the way to go for this guy. If we see a villain LF, I would like to see maybe a DKP. Uh, as you can see, there are 4 purple, 3 yellow, 4 blue, 3 green and then only 1 red LF unit. I believe uh, uh, that we should be getting a red LF next because it's only 1 and historically from what I've seen in the past two months we got two new yellows so maybe they want to balance that out a little bit and give us two red LFs next. If we do get a villain LF I'd like to see DKP or maybe if they want they could maybe do a Kid Buu. That would be very good to have and maybe a Zenkai for this guy here because he is very bad. Um, if we look at the events this ticket is clearly an indication of what's to come, maybe a special banner. Uh, I doubt it will be anything for Zenkai because it, cannot, because it says cannot be used in returning or Zenkai waking summons. So maybe this ticket would be specific to, you can use it on any banner but within the allotted time period, it's one single summon that guarantees a sparking, etc, etc. So hopefully you guys can get these tickets, make sure to hold on to them, uh, don't use them. and maybe we'll see if it's a special banner that these tickets are for and to wrap up to wrap up the video I'm just gonna go through a quick uh, wrap up of what we discussed hope this guy doesn't get a Zenkai hope he just gets reworked if he doesn't we could see an LF version of him if we don't we could get a villain LF the second one ever and I think people will be pretty hyped for that because there are plenty of favorite villains out there and having only one in the game is uh, pretty clear that uh, they need to work on getting us some villain LFs because there are plenty of good villain teams that we can run in the game right now. Anyway guys, uh, let me know what you think of the video and my little discussions slash ramblings. If you have any uh, suggestions or comments or your own predictions of what's going to happen or what you want to see, let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe because we're going to be doing this a lot more often and we're going to be discussing a lot more things regarding legends. My name is Hydrax, I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you all later.